Sometimes you just never know what you're randomly going to bump into on social media. And boy, bumped into something yesterday. Good Lord. Apparently, Taylor Hendricks has something to say about her time in ROH, and more specifically, Jay Lethal. Ooh, yeah! And him going Harvey Weinstein. And basically introducing her to phase two of the Harvey Weinstein experience. Now, if you're not familiar with them, it's just something I'm coming up with right now, literally on the fly. Stage one of the Harvey Weinstein experience is to advance your career. He makes sexual advances towards you. You swallow your pride. You probably swallow him and you help your career along. Stage two is he makes advances towards you. You rebuff and reject them. And as a result, he kind of blacklists you. He buries your career so it never gets off the ground. Stage three, he rapes you. Those are pretty much the three stages of a woman's experience with Harvey Weinstein. None of them are really that appealing, if you get what I'm saying. So what she's doing right now, she's not necessarily accusing him of stage three. She's not accusing him of stage one or admitting to stage one. She's admitting to stage two, symbolized by my middle finger. What up? Taylor Hendricks came out on social media and basically said that because she rejected Jay Lethal's sexual advances, he made sure to go to the powers of B and say, she won't sleep with me. She's rebuffing my sexual advances. We need to bury her and get her out of Dodge. Interesting, to say the least. Now, you're going to have those that are going to automatically believe her because she's the first one to speak about it because she's put together a story that's convenient, kind of makes sense, and automatically assume that she's right. And frankly, shame on you if you do, especially if you've not heard the other side of the story, especially if this hasn't been played out in a court of law or anything like that. Sure, we can have opinions on different things and we can base them on a variety of different factors. I mean, would I be surprised if Jay Lethal uh, made a move towards somebody like Taylor Hendricks? I mean, she's white. That's a plus for Jay Lethal. Um, she's got tits, which I'm assuming Jay Lethal likes. She's white. Did I already mention that? How's Jay Lethal taste, punk? That's all I'm saying. So, what to make of all of this? This is not automatically to defend Jay Lethal because Jay Lethal's a dude or Jay Lethal's a wrestler and he's more significant than Taylor Hendricks. Not at all. And if it's true that Jay Lethal is doing something like this to Taylor Hendricks or other women, then, pardon the pun here, but he should be blacklisted from professional wrestling forever. There is no place for this type of bullshit there is no type of place for this in this type of world nowadays. <clears throat> now, what is that borderline between flirty and harassment and advances? Difficult thing, frankly, for the guy in this world today is sometimes it's hard to know. You can have some women that you could literally walk up behind them, squeeze their tits, and they think that's fun and flirty and about two seconds away from fuck me daddy. And you could have another woman that you could sit there and literally touch her on the shoulder and she feels uncomfortable. Uh, so for some of the pussy dudes and some of the women, they're going to think that my explanation of this is just chauvinistic bullshit. Well, you believe that if you want, but that is a reality. It's not trying to mansplain. It's not trying to woman shame here or anything like that. It's just it is what it is. It could be a tough place for a guy. Just like it would be a tough place for a woman. But to me, it's just really weird that out of the blue, when Taylor Hendricks has done other interviews and so on and so forth, like what all of a sudden now is making her come out and say this? That does not mean that it did not happen. It does not mean she's automatically a liar. I'm just trying to figure out why all of a sudden at this particular moment in time did she decide this was the moment at hand to go public with this, to talk about this. Seems weird to me. Is all I'm saying. And here's, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Because you could go a couple of different ways with this. Number one, you could just be Taylor Hendricks's petty. And she's the type of petty 
that if she's scorned, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, she could be sitting there and trying to get her revenge and doing it in a grimy, sleazy type of rat way and doesn't care who she brings down in the process. And if you automatically eliminate that as a possibility, then you are a dipshit because it is absolutely a possibility, just the same as Jay Lethal trying to get freaky with her, frisky with her, and her denying his advances, and then him going to the powers of B of ROH and either talking about that directly as a reason they needed to get her out of there, or concocting some type of reason, manufacturing some heat to get her the fuck out of town. I can't automatically dismiss that either. It is possible. Could it be something else? Could it be that Taylor Hendricks wasn't very good? And that's the reason that ROH doesn't want her around. Could it be just independent coincidences that Jay Lethal, who last I checked is not in charge of ROH's booking, made flirtations towards her or flat out advances towards her, tried to make a move on her, and she rejected him, and at that same period of time, the company decided she sucked and wasn't going to use her anymore. We don't know what other type of contractual arguments there were, disagreements there were. We don't know what she was like behind the scenes backstage. We don't know what, if any, interactions her and Jay Lethal have had. Frankly, I haven't perused wrestling Twitter to see if other people are coming out with similar stories or other people are coming out to defending Jay Lethal. It's just... Takes too much time to follow that stuff, frankly. But I think it's important to reserve judgment here. Taylor Hendricks does not deserve to automatically be dismissed just because she's a woman and she no longer, I think, wrestles for ROH. It doesn't automatically mean that she has sour grapes and she's going to take down the black man no matter what. It doesn't automatically mean that. Now, that could entirely be it. And if it is entirely that, and if she does not have real concrete proof, I hope Jay Lethal and ROH sue the fucking bricks off of her. Because that's what she deserves. Rape, sexual harassment, sexual assault are incredibly serious things and should be treated as such. That goes up to and including people who make those accusations, especially if they are proven to be knowingly false, not a misinterpretation, but a flat-out lie. These bitches deserve to burn St. as the guys and get falsely convicted for this crap. But if Jay Lethal did what she said he did, then he should be banned from the wrestling business forever. And any promotion that would continue to book him after this bullshit deserves none of my business and none of yours either. You, 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 all of you. Nobody. And if the truth is somewhere in the middle, where she had her own dealings with ROH and they decided to go in a different direction and Jay Lethal made some type of advance towards her and she happened to be shown the door, then too bad, so sad, then's the breaks, bitch, get over it. It could be coincidence, could be bullshit, she could totally be up to snuff on this. The reality is, I don't know. The reality is, nobody honestly but Taylor Hendricks and Jay Lethal would really know at this point, unless there were other witnesses that have photographic memories to exactly what happened. We can assume that only two people really know the truth. So surely we're going to have a bunch of Me Too bitches and a batch of Men Forever bitches sitting there and espousing their views on Twitter and social media and different videos about this. But the reality is at this point, without more concrete evidence to go on one way or another, maybe it's wise to just sit back and let things play out. Because the fact is, I don't know. And if I don't know, you most of you probably have the same information I do. You don't damn know either. So we'll find out, I think, eventually. But for now, jump to the conclusions all you want. Just... Um, be careful they don't bite you in the ass.